All right, with the hose coming back through, the opening right there, um, pretty much ready to put it back where it's supposed to be. Already have the fitting back in. We have to do the first fitting right there before we can do the top fitting. So let me show you what it looks like underneath. All right. Pretty much that's what it looks like right there. Now, I did not tighten that all the way. Um, I'm going to slide it over a little bit. I have to adjust because they gave six inches of extra hydraulic line in there. And um, yeah, pretty sure that's going to be a little bit too much. But let's see what we got. All right. Once you get that in there, also make sure your O-ring is in there and it's good. So let me go ahead and get the hose back on there. All right, at that point, the hose has already tightened up. I went ahead and put the top fitting in. And yeah, time to go ahead and run that one up there too. Let me get that tight and then we'll go underneath and go ahead and get that adjusted where it should be get it tight and uh, that's your repair simple and easy all right once the top is tightened up it should pretty much look something about like this the little bracket will go right back there and hold everything in place um, pretty much you can zip tie the little guy to the big hose right there so um, yeah once I get everything pressure washed in here, I will go ahead and put the covers back on. I'm gonna keep them off right now while we're running just to make sure we don't have any more leaks. Uh, definitely need your covers back on there because if a stick comes up in there and grabs that, it can definitely tear all that up. Um, but anyways, let me go ahead and crawl underneath. Everything is pretty much uh, where it needs to be, where to fit inside of the cover. So now we can tighten the center up and adjust from there. So let's go get that done and then uh, this repair will be finished. All right, what I'm going to do is adjust this over like this so it's lifted up. I kind of wish they uh, didn't add six inches to it, I'll be honest. But they were trying to make sure I had enough room to make all the turns, and it's just going to have to work. So at that point, we'll go ahead and tighten this bad boy up. And again, make sure your hydraulic lines or your uh, O-rings are just right. Let me lift that like this and tighten it from there. So let me get it tight and then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, wrap this up. Now if they gave you extra on your hose too, um, just make sure you have a smooth turn right here and nothing that can kink. If I was to put it back the other way, it would definitely kink. So at that point, this is not really a moving area right here. Um, this is all stationary. So that should be just fine. So at that point, uh, Time for pressure wash and uh, yeah, get it all back to uh, the covers back on it and get them safe. So that was a simple repair for your uh, E70B. If one of your steel lines is leaking, just replace it with the uh, braided steel hydraulic hose and uh, you'll be good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you on the next how-to with uh, any E70B repairs we do. Thanks for watching.